Hello, this is uh, Steve Bu Steve Bucks Coins, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a review of a five-pound carded coin from Change Checker. On this side is the standard reverse that you'll see on a five-pound coin. It has the fifth portrait of the Queen with the JC lettering under the neck. It has a date of 2022. On the reverse side. We have the main portrait or the main picture. This coin, this five pound coin, celebrates Prince William's 40th birthday. You have the crown cipher, crown cipher W on this side. You have 40 on this side and the zero going into the back of the neck, which is a little disconcerting. You have the W cipher with the coronet. Or the crown, should I say, and a image of Prince William. I'm not sure that this is probably the best image. It is taken from a photo of him, maybe in the last couple of years. I have had people saying, I've heard people say, it looks as if the fort has been bolted onto the back of his neck and that the W is part of his ear. However, that's not true. It's uh, just a. It's just a, a, a bad way of not separating the design fully. Perhaps it would have been better to have the four here and the zero down here, so it didn't affect or merge with its portrait. The W and the coronet crown uh, is not as bad as the 40 is. That zero going behind his portrait is very off-putting in my opinion and takes away from it. It looks as if it is attached to him in some way when of course it isn't. It's just very poor design in my view. Other people may have may disagree with me and you're perfectly entitled to. So what do you think of this coin? Do you think it's worthy of the current crop of royalty coins that are coming out for the Queen's Jubilee? Is it good enough to be released alongside them? I'm not sure that it is. I think it could have been, uh, the design could have been accomplished a lot better than it has been. The 40 uh, merging with the portrait on the left hand side is unforgivable. You could have easily put the four, as I said, you could have put the four further up and then the zero down so it didn't actually look as if it was merging into the portrait. The W cipher the stylized W cipher could, uh, might have been moved a bit down down here almost touching his shot just just below touching his shoulders because where it's alongside his the left hand side of his face there it does look doesn't look right perhaps if they moved that down a bit as well it would have made it a lot easier and the coronet could have just stayed a little bit down or maybe even made a little bit smaller so it didn't look as if it was going in on his eyebrow level. It's not a well designed coin, that's not Prince William's fault. It is however the Royal Mint's fault. It's it's poorly designed. Um, there's no other way of putting it. The fact that it looks as if things are touching the actual uh, prince, prince, the prince himself, it's not right. So Good, decent coin, badly executed as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it could have been a lot better and should have been a lot better, particularly in this most important year for Her Majesty the Queen. So, yes, I'm happy that it's been minted. I'm quite happy to celebrate the Prince's birthday, and it is a significant birthday. However, in my view, the Royal Mint's design has been very very poor 
and it should have been caught that particularly that zero should have been caught before it went out and should have been they should the designer should have been told to change the design so do you think I'm being over reactive in what I'm saying about the design Oh, would you are you happy to have this in your collection if you've already got it would you think about getting it ha having now seen the coin let me know in the comments below for me i think it's as i said it was a good excuse my mobile phone um for me yes i think prince william deserved a coin for his 30th birthday i just think the execution could have been far better Am I happy to have the coin in my collection? Well, I'm as I'm a completionist, so yes, I needed to have this coin in the collection. Do I think it's the best design? No. I think along with the two pound Vera Lynn, it's probably one of the two worst high value coins that they've released so far from the mint. It's not because of the subject matter in either case, it's for the very poor execution of the actual coin itself, of the design. However, having said that, it's in my collection now, and it will stay in my collection. What do you think of this? Would you buy the coin, as I've asked you before? I quite like it, apart, I like the idea, but I don't like the execution. Tell me what you think in the comments below. In closing, if you're having a hunt, I hope you have a successful one and you find the coins you're looking for. If you are buying coins, as I've done with this one, I hope you can get the coins you want for the price you want to pay. And in the meantime, I'm looking to um, advance my subscription levels. I'm currently at the beginning of June. I think I've got about 80 subscribers. I'm hoping to hit 100 by Christmas. Uh, with the outside target of 150 by the new year. If you can help me out by, if you think I've, I've deserve it, please give me the thumbs up, the like. If you think I deserve a chance of coming in front of you again via a subscription, please would you subscribe? I would look forward. i would be absolutely delighted to have you along for the rest of my journey through coins, spout notes, and other stuff that I cover on the channel. <coughs> In the meantime, thank you for watching and watching to the end and from me until we meet up again. Don't forget I have four videos a week and I hope you can find something you want to watch. From me, ta-da, bye-bye, ta-da now.